Hi guys. Today I will show you how to do Symmetry's interactive maze tutorial. First, you want to launch Symmetry. Make sure you have it installed on your computer. You could do this by double clicking the butterfly icon. It will say it's preparing to launch. And now Symmetry is launching. The cool thing about Symmetry is that there are so many built-in interactive tutorials that teach you how to use the app inside of the app. Um, the one I will be showing you today is the one that teaches you how to build a maze and actually experience it in virtual reality, which is really cool. Click on the icon that says Start Here to begin. Click on Mazes and double click on Build a Maze, which is the tutorial we will be doing today. It will load the tutorial. You know what amazes me? A maze. In this tutorial, we're going to create a maze and then experience it in VR. So, Symmetry is actually telling me what to do inside of the app. Okay, I hear you. I'm sorry, I'm not a comedian. That's better. I think we can do that. For this tutorial, we're going to use this robot as our first person perspective. Let's see what I mean. So now we're going to go into the robot. You are now seeing the space through the robot's perspective. Use your WASD keys to move around. W is forward, S is backward, A is left, and D is right. When you've had enough of moving around, click the next button to continue. So now I move around by pressing the W, S, D, and A keys. Now you click the next button to continue. Before we experience things in VR, let's create our maze environment. First, we'll add an editable maze base to our space. Unlock the toolbox panel on the left side of the screen by moving your mouse over it. So, just undock it, just like this. Next, from the top list of the panel, click Maze. Right here. Notice that base, 15 by 15, is selected. Now, click the ground in the space to create our maze base. Now you just want to do what it says. You click in the middle. Right click to exit draw mode. Nice. Let me adjust things so we can see our maze better. Excellent. So this huge object is our starting point for our maze. The base is composed of boxes called Kodai. We'll use them to create maze paths. Let's enter maze editing mode. Unlock the hierarchy panel on the right side of the screen. You can do this by moving your mouse over to it. Now, double click code I15 by 15 in the hierarchy panel. We are now in maze edit mode. Let's go look at our available maze editing tools. From the top list of the toolbox panel, click maze. If you don't know what to do, this screen will fade away until you see the part you're supposed to go to. These are all our available maze editing tools. For now, we'll be using the toggle code eye tool which is currently selected. Now, try clicking somewhere on our maze base. So I'm just going to click in a random location. The code eye you've just clicked has docked. We can also undock it as well. Click the box you just docked. Ta-da, it rose back up. Nice. This tool will enable us to create paths through our maze base. Let's go and build our path. This will be our starting point. And this will be our end point. Your job is to create a maze path from the starting point to the end point. Create a path between the start and end points by clicking on the maze. Press continue when you're done. So the maze is going to start right here and end right here. You want to make a path that can connect this with this. 
just like this. You can click on them to dock them and click them again if you accidentally dock them if you want to make them go up again. I'm going to create something really fast now to show you guys how it works. So now that we have a straight path, you can click the next. Finally, right click to exit the toggle Kodai tool. Let's exit the maze editor. From the top of the hierarchy panel, click terrain space. Fantastic. Now, dock the hierarchy panel by moving your mouse against the right edge of the screen next to the panel. Just like this. Nice. Dock the toolbox panel on the left side as well. Before we dive into our maze, let's make it a little more stylish. Hmm. Now, let's experience the maze. As you see, the robot is back. Your robot suit is ready. First, let's put symmetry into VR mode to enable our headset and its controllers. Click the VR button at the top right of the screen. You want to click it right there. We'll continue in your headset. Put on your headset then press next when you are ready to continue. Since I have my headset plugged in, it's going to start Windows Mixed Reality, which is the type of headset I'm using, as well as Steam VR. So I'm going to continue on my headset. Now I'm going to put the headset and put it on, turn on the controllers, and see symmetry in VR. Now that I have my headset on, I'm going to press the next button. We'll be using the VR controller thumbsticks or thumbpads to move ourselves around. You can either use the thumbstick slash thumbpad on your left controller or the one on your right controller. Pushing both thumbsticks slash thumbpads in the same direction will allow you to move twice as fast. Now, use your VR controllers to move onto the start pad. Okay, now I'm going to hold the controllers and I'm going to use the touch pads to move my character towards the start. Now let's activate our experience and enter VR immersion mode. Click the VR present button at the bottom right of the screen. Now to make VR go into 360 mode, I'm going to click the VR button on the bottom right of the screen. So now I'm actually inside of the robot and I'm going to try to complete this maze by moving the robot. I'll leave you to it. When you are done, press the escape key on your keyboard to exit immersion mode. Have fun. This is really cool. You have to try this, it's so cool. I'm actually inside of the robot and I'm inside the maze I built. And it looks so real. Now I'm pressing both thumbsticks to move quickly. And I found the finish pad. Now as you see, we have fireworks, I finished it. This was so cool. I hope you understood how to do this tutorial. It's really cool how you can make your own things and then experience them in VR. And it's really satisfying to see how it all comes together inside of the headset. Thank you for watching, bye.